I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles. In this video, we're going to look at the life cycle of a guinea pig from birth to when they reach the end of their lives. Unlike many other animals, a guinea pig starts their life looking like a miniature version of an adult guinea pig. A baby guinea pig weighs around 100 grams or three and a half ounces at birth and is born with teeth, open eyes and strong legs. They are not born hairless but with a full coat of fur. They become active very quickly and soon after birth they will be running around. Guinea pigs give birth to a litter which will usually consist of two to four babies known as pups. But there can be between one and eight pups in a litter. A first litter tends to be smaller than subsequent litters. The pups will suckle from their mother for the first four to six weeks, but you might be surprised to know that they will also begin to nibble the same food their mother is eating within two days of being born. Sometimes they will do this when they are just a day old. Male guinea pigs reach puberty at around two to three months old and female guinea pigs at around two months old. If your guinea pig is pregnant or has recently given birth, it's important to know when to separate the young pups because they do breed from a very young age. It's recommended the male babies are separated from the mother at about six weeks as they may begin mating even at this young age. Some even recommend separating at four weeks. Female pups can remain with the mother until lactation or milk production in the mother has finished. Although guinea pigs are able to have babies at a very young age, it's not a good idea to allow them to become pregnant until they are at least six months old. This is because baby guinea pigs that are born to very young guinea pigs can be more vulnerable and have certain weaknesses. But a female guinea pig should not have her first litter after she is a year old. The reason is that a first pregnancy after this age can increase the chances of serious problems during the birth. We don't actually recommend breeding as there are so many guinea pigs in rescues needing homes. Female guinea pig's reproductive cycle, also known as the oestrus cycle, is around 15 to 17 days long. The time within this cycle when she is able to get pregnant only lasts around 2 to 11 hours. Her pregnancy will last around 65 to 70 days or 9 to 10 weeks. After giving birth she can be back on heat about 15 hours later and so there is a danger of her becoming pregnant again. So it's important to separate the sow from the male in late pregnancy to avoid this happening. A guinea pig is considered an adult at six months, but they may continue to grow until they're around a year old. When they're fully grown, they'll weigh somewhere around 9 to 1200 grams, with boars generally weighing more than females. As they become older, guinea pigs can become more prone to illnesses. But if you provide them with a healthy diet and good living conditions, then you will give them the best chance of staying healthy till a ripe old age. Guinea pigs usually live for between four to eight years, but they can live longer, even up to 10 to 11 years in some cases. In fact, the oldest recorded guinea pig lived 14 years. Our care sheets are a great way to help you remember all your guinea pig tasks and keep you organized. The care sheet pack includes checklists and pages you can fill in with useful information about your guinea pig including daily task checklists, information about your vet, medication, appointments, pages to log their weight and more. They are designed for both adults and children 
and they're available to buy online where you can download, print and begin using them straight away. I've put a link for you in the description below to where you can buy these. Mm -hmm.